Next to front the sharks, a couple of cosmetic entrepreneurs with a colourful proposition. Hello sharks, my name is Joanne Rathbone. And I'm Michelle Crofts, and we are the creators and co-owners of Mr Brown Male Tanning Essentials. We are here today to seek an investment of $70,000 for a 20% share of our male self-tanning business. This is the figure we believe we require to kickstart our PR, advertising and marketing campaign to create brand awareness to take Mr Brown to the next level. We also require part funding for new product development. So who is Mr Brown? Yeah, who is Mr Brown? Mr Brown is charismatic. He's confident. He's charming. He walks into a room sure of himself and has an air of intrigue about him. His rugged looks turn heads. He's fit and assertive with a great sense of humour. <laughs> Due to his healthy glow, he has confidence in his own skin. <laughs> He's got a six pack. Mr Brown is an Australian range of male tanning essentials. Following extensive research, it was clear there was a gap in the market catering to the tanning needs of men. All products were trialled and tested on men between the ages of 18 to 45 with various skin types. It was apparent there were many confused men trying to establish which female tanning product to use. They were put off by the scent and the overall colour results. Makes so sense. we decided to rectify the situation. Lab development took place over a period of 18 months. Our products offer easy, streak-free application, the ability to glide through body and facial hair, fragrance-free, quick drying, and most importantly, they deliver a subtle natural tan. Men can rest assured they're wearing a product designed for them. No one wants to be a pale male, so come on, sharks, don't drown Mr Brown. <laughs> <laughs> OK, $70,000 for 20%. And was Michelle and Joanne? Yes, and Michelle and Joanne. Yeah, I've got that. Yes. And Mr Brown. And Mr Brown. And Mr Brown. <laughs> and does he come with the... No, I was just kidding. <laughs> so tell us a bit about your journey. How did you get into this business? How did you two meet? I have a cosmetics company which I launched roughly seven years ago here in Australia. It's called Harlot Cosmetics. Bit cheeky. Mum's still getting over that name. Harlot. <laughs> Harlot with a T and an E and a kiss, kiss, kiss <laughs> to soften it. I saw a massive gap in the market. I was quite often approached by men asking why isn't there a fake tan out there for men? There's just simply none. I'm confused. Skin, skin. Hmm. Why can't a man just use spray tan? He can, but the hair, it's different consistency. If they use a spray tan, it's not going to get through the hairs to get to their actual skin. There's no hair on him. No, but that's... That's, that's for the camera. <laughs> 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 The numbers of the business, uh, sales, revenues, costs, what are we looking at here? Because we only launched at the end of last year, we did a soft launch in GQ Australia because the opportunity came up. So you've been going for 12 months, therefore you don't have any revenue? Oh, we've got $4,000 worth of sales. That was just from the repeat orders from the GQ. I'm confused again. 12 months ago, you were in a magazine. Yes. For PR. Yes. What happened? We rushed those products. We didn't have our how sorry. We didn't have our whole range ready. We only had the daily bronzing tint. So why did you even bother going into a magazine if you couldn't supply? Oh, oh, just, oh, we just thought it was a really good opportunity, and we had now we had the we had so the bronzing you, tint. But you've done it for twelve months and four grand when you've already started. That's why I'm going. This feels like something's missing. We just have we really haven't done a PR campaign to to do anything with it. We'd actually about to sign with a PR company and at that time... We just pulled the pin, didn't we? We pulled the pin and said, we've just been taken... Like, we didn't tell them, but we've we had, another opportunity had just come been up, so given this just opportunity. This on hold? I'm sorry, I didn't understand any of that. Can one of you speak at a time, please? Because, you know, I think this is really interesting and I want to know more about it. So if you can check, take your time and one answer at a time would be really helpful. OK, sure. So there was something about a PR, there was something about a we were gonna, and I didn't get any of it. So could you just somebody tell me? Just before we, we 
heard of this opportunity. Okay, so, right, we got were it. Going about to... three or four months ago yeah, you heard yeah, about this. Yes. Yeah. We actually had documents to sign for a PR company to start on our Mr Brown just to, just to get it out there for us. Yeah. We pulled the plug on that when this opportunity came up. So you think you can do your PR on your own? Oh, no, 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 no. No, we just... We, this is why we're here, though. We would like funding for PR and advertising. OK. So you had money to do PR, but you thought, well, wait a second, I'll get someone else's no, money. No, 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 we did. We had limited funds. Let's assume PR works well, goes gangbusters. You've now got orders for thousands of these. Are we selling them direct through retailers? What's the plan? We would love to be in department stores and male grooming salons, and a lot of men now are going to um, clinics to get so lasers. So you're going to sell through retail? Yes, we would go retail and... So, so have you got a retail outlet? Have you contacted any of the chains? We contacted David Jones. Yep. And basically we got back a generic letter that said that um, they already had similar products okay. on the market. So who else have you contacted? No one else. We con Maya contacted Myers, but that was like, this person's no longer here and no one could give us an exact name of who the core contact was. So for 12 months, you've had the product and you've made a couple of phone calls. I'm just trying to understand the tenacity of someone to actually take a product and make it successful is that real, it's a grind, it's working the pavement, it's working 100 hours a day to achieve it. And what I'm hearing is I called David Jones, got a generic letter, someone's left at Maya. All that really came through was the reasons why you haven't got into places instead of the solution to achieving those places. I do wish you well. I think that there is a market and, you know, I'd rather a tan come from this source than, you know, where the sun. The yeah. sun. Yeah. So good luck, but I'm out. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know, when I started my first business, I, what I actually did was I actually got in my car and I got my samples and information and I actually drove to every place in Adelaide that would actually stock my brochures and free discs. I personally went and hung around until I found the person who could actually put that out on the shelves. I don't hear the same thing here. I'm not feeling the tenacity here. You were in GQ. Oh, awesome. Wow, you're in GQ, right? That's really cool. And then we sort of did nothing for a year. I'm not too sure if it's a serious business or not. Oh, it's oh definitely. Well, you've had some trouble getting that across. It's not something that's I'm naturally in. I'm not in the 89%, so I'm going to save some time and I'm going to wish you all the best and uh, I'll, uh, I'll get out now. Thank you. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. Joanne, I do understand what it takes to build a business. It does take passion and persistence. But the other thing it takes is who's doing what by when. The WWW of business. And I'm so unclear about that at the end of your presentation. Well, I'm looking for business partners. I want to know who's doing what by when, and we get on and we do it, and we deliver on things, we put our word to things, and we take responsibility for it. And that's missing in your presentation for today. For that reason, I'm out. OK, thank you. Thank you. you know what I think? I think this is a product without an owner and a product without a strategy. In 24 hours, you'll have a strategy, I'm sure, because today's been a learning experience. But as it is today, on this basis, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle Joanne and Mr Brown. Uh, the pitch was disappointing. I think you've probably got a good product, but you've got to be tenacious. You've got to be out there. You've got to be seeing 10 stores a day, 50, 60 a week, and out of that, you'll get two or three or four that will stock you, just purely on your enthusiasm and tenacity. I'm sure you, you'll get there, but I think you missed the opportunity maybe a year ago. Maybe you missed the opportunity here, because I think as an investor, you haven't given us an opportunity to truly invest. It doesn't mean it's not a great product, I am one of the pale males, <laughs> unlike yourself. Perhaps I need to throw a little bit of this on, but 
Seriously, I wish you well, but I'm out. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. 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 Thank